Good evening and welcome to the Deep Creek High School 2020 Fall Open House. My name is Brian Honberry and I have the honor of serving as principal. I hope you and your families are well and that you are adjusting to the virtual school environment. I wish we were all here together this evening, but this is the reality of our current situation. Tonight's program will be a little different than the past open houses. Normally I would make brief remarks, introduce my administrative team, and you would meet your students' teachers as you follow their bell schedule. Since we are un unable to meet in person, after my remarks, each of my administrators will introduce themselves and make brief remarks. They will be followed by our guidance director, Mrs. Trant, and our PTSA president, Mrs. Reeves. Since you will not be meeting your students' teachers tonight, I encourage you, if you haven't already, to visit their teachers' Schoology and Synergy page for information about their classes. I also ask that you email your students' teachers with any questions or concerns. I want to thank you and your students for your patience, understanding, and support in these first couple of weeks. Virtual instruction is new to all of us, and I am happy to report, with the exception of a few glitches along the way, things are going very well. My administrative team and I have had the opportunity to observe teachers during live instruction and join classes to see instruction from the student's point of view. What I have observed is outstanding instruction and learning taking place, so thank you to all our students and teachers. Great job. We currently have 1,557 students enrolled. 1,103 families have selected option one and 454 families have selected option two instruction. Option one students will return to campus when schools reopen. Option two students will continue with virtual instruction for the remainder of the first semester. Even though we are in a completely different learning environment, one thing that has not changed is our commitment to provide a quality education for all our students by setting high academic standards and providing diverse instructional, social, and cultural opportunities, whether virtually or on campus. We need to make meaningful connections, build relationships, and establish an environment where we inspire, engage, and empower our students every day. To accomplish this, we will need the support of all of our students, families, and staff. Our greatest success will be accomplished with all of us working together. I need all of you to, that have not already to sign up for Parent View and Synergy. This will allow you to follow your child's progress throughout the year. It provides you the opportunity to update and verify all contact information, acknowledge the Student Code of Conduct Handbook, view grades, assignments, and class resources in real time. So please set up your Parent View account if you have not. We presented our student academic and behavioral expectations assemblies last week. My administrative team and I went over the expectations, rules, policies, and guidelines for virtual learning. We also ask that you and your student read and acknowledge the 2020-2021 Student Code of Conduct Handbook posted in Parent and Student View. One of the slides I presented to our students that I would like to share with you tonight is what I call the Hornet Way. We asked all of our students to be in class, on time, prepared every day, just as if they were on campus. Work hard, complete your work on time, and ask for help. Be respectful and lead by example. Practice tolerance and embrace people's differences. Be friendly and support your classmates, teachers, and staff. Follow all behavioral and safety rules, policies, and guidelines. Read and acknowledge the 2020-2021 Code of Conduct Student Handbook. And bottom line, treat people the way you would like to be treated and respect yourself. Finally, an update on clubs and student activities and athletics. We will begin to establish student clubs and elections in the coming weeks, and some of the athletic teams have already started conditioning. So please visit the website, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and contact your student's coach or the athletic director if you have any other questions. Finally, as I said to the students during our assembly, we will have an additional meeting to discuss COVID-19 protocol, guidelines, and procedures when we get closer to returning for on-campus instruction. Thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce Mrs. Babb, our Assistant Principal for Instruction. Greetings, I'm Ms. Babb, Assistant Principal for Instruction. Welcome to the 2020-21 school year. Our vision is to inspire, engage, and empower all students. 
all courses are credit bearing and follow the CPS grading guidelines. The first grading period ends October 7th. At this time, all parents should be active in parent view. All students should be active in student view. A reminder, Synergy is the official record for attendance and grades. All parents should be active in Schoology. All students should be active in Schoology. Schoology is our learning management system. All students should be participating in all four classes. How can you help? Provide a workspace for your child. See that your child has technology and internet available. See that your child participates and follows the virtual bell schedule daily. Maintain a consistent schedule. Reach out to the school for assistance as needed. How can we help? Teachers have daily office hours to answer questions. Our TIS can assist with technology questions. Case managers, guidance counselors, and media specialists are available for assistance. Our website maintains current information. We are available via phone, email, or through Schoology. Together, we are virtually unstoppable. Good evening, Hornets. My name is Mr. Daniel. I'm assistant principal, and I have the privilege of serving students with the last name N to Z. Tonight, I want to cover a few items to go over with uh, specifics about discipline, behavior, and doing things the Hornet way. A couple things when we're using the virtual interactions. When attending class meetings, you want to make sure that you are attending the class as if you're face-to-face. -face. So we want to make sure that you're there on time. You want to make sure that you're using all the correct procedures and policies when you're using a virtual world. When you're addressing staff, make sure you're courteous. Again, we want to reiterate the Hornet way and treat people the way you want to be treated as well. Make sure that you're refrained from any type of obscene, profane, threatening, disrespect, disrespectful language or images when you're on a virtual setting. So please be mindful of that as you go through each class. Attendance is going to be important. Make sure that you're attending each class as if it was face-to-face -face as well. Um, make sure that you're keeping up with your Schoology pages. Make sure you're keeping up with your Synergy pages and keep, keeping up with any asynchronous assignments that your teachers present. This is important for your success and we want you to be very successful this year at Deep Creek High School. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to us. We're here to help you and we want to make this the best year ever for you guys, Hornets. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Mr. Walker. I'm the assistant principal in charge of the alphabet G through M. I'm excited to share with you that we are going forward with our behavior interventions and positive behavior interventions and support system. As you start to come back to school, you will notice Creek culture posters throughout the hallways and in your classrooms. Just a reminder to you, Creek stands for collaborative. We learn better when we learn together. Respectful. We want to show respect for each other, our teachers, faculty, staff, and the Deep Creek community. Equitable. We want everybody to have an opportunity. If there's something that you don't have the opportunity to go out for, please let us know and we'll see if we can right that wrong. Excellence. You should strive for excellence in everything you do in and outside the classroom. Kind. Remember, we are all Hornets. Treat each other as you would like to be treated. Thank you. We look forward to a great year at the Creek. And reminder, if you still have any textbooks outstanding, please bring them back to Deep Creek as quickly as possible. Thank you. Right. Hello, I'm Shantae Asprey, your assistant principal for Alphabet A through F. I'm also the assistant principal for special education. If you have any questions or need about your student's IEP, please don't hesitate to email or call your student's case manager. Um, I gave just a few tips of virtual success. Be on time, mute yourself, get rid of all distractions when it's time, and dress for success. If you're gonna have your camera on, we just ask that you are in the appropriate attire for your education. And also check your area for distractions like our kitty cats, our dogs, or our siblings. Hello, I'm Mrs. Trant, School Counseling Director here at Deep Creek. My responsibilities are overseeing the counselors, as well as synergy records such as transcripts and student grades, and as well as helping out with the NCAA athletes. Please remember, if you would like to be eligible for NCAA, that you must have three new classes each semester to be eligible. Thank you. Hello, my name is Marquita Reeves, and I'm the president of the Deep Creek High School PTSA. The PTSA is a volunteer-run organization that consists of parents, teachers, and students, and faculty of Deep Creek High School. 
The PTSA provides a forum to share ideas and concerns with other parents, educators, and students. It can be a more effective means to suggest change, provide improvements, provide leadership opportunities, and enhance educational initiatives. Membership is $7 and is available online. A link is provided on the school website and our DCH PTSA Facebook page. All parents, students, and faculty are encouraged to join. If you are interested in an executive board member role, nominations occur in the spring. PTSA funds support senior scholarships, student and faculty training, school beautification, and educational platforms at the local and state levels. We look forward to you joining our team and welcome to the Hornet family. Have a great evening. Thank you, Mrs. Reeves and all the members of the PTSA board. Your support and dedication to helping the students of Deep Creek High School is greatly appreciated. Parents, please join and support this worthy organization. I registered online and it only took me about two minutes. So please join, it's very easy. Thank you for viewing tonight's presentation. Please email your students' teachers, counselors, or administrators if you have any questions or concerns. Also visit our website and follow us on Twitter and Instagram for more information. As I said earlier, our success will be accomplished with all of us working together. Thank you, good night, and go Hornets.